In this lesson, we will study about stack container adapter. So, in the last video, we had seen about deck, deck container that provided pushing and popping from both ends of the container. So, here this container adapter, what, what it will do? It will adapt to the underlying container. So, in the case of a stack, the underlying container by default will be deck. So in deck we have both the facility insert and remove from both ends. So stack what will it do? It will uh, act as a wrapper on that and it will hide some of those functionalities and expose only a few of them. For example, uh, if we are allowed to insert and remove from both ends, this class wrapper will remove these facilities from one end and this is let's say the end. So first inserted element came in this side so what it will do it will uh, convert this push back that is push in the back in the end it will expose this functionality as push and pop back this was available in deck so it will expose this as pop and hide the remaining two so this is what container adapter is doing and uh, here the intent is to uh, provide the functionality of a stack to the programmers and what is a stack stack is last in first out that is lifo so if we have a stack of plates like this so you keep a plate on top of the other plates and when you remove you remove from the top so this was the one that was inserted in the end next you insert you will again insert on the top and when you remove you remove from top so whatever is last in is is the one that is first picked out so that's lifo and this is providing that functionality and uh, similar to other uh, steel containers here you need to include the stack header file in order to use these functionalities and uh, as explained earlier mm, that end we will call the top of the stack so in the deck it was front it was back here this end you cannot do anything you are only working with this end and we will call this end as the top of the stack now let's see some of the main functionalities of this uh, container adapter as usual size then equal you can assign uh, values to it you can assign a new stack to it and then top will access the top element of the stack empty checks whether there is any element or not push and pop these are equivalent to push back and pop back now let's write some sample code where we will use all these functions so first we need to include stack header file then we will create a stack of int let's insert a few elements to it So now we have inserted pushed five elements to the stack. Now let's see what is the size. Also what is at the top of the stack. Now let's pop two elements. and then print this again So let's guess our output first and then we will run it. So here we have pushed 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 is the one that was pushed last. So that is at the top of the stack. So its size should be 5, top should be 4. 
then we pop two elements so four and three are popped so now size should be three and top should be two and then it should print not empty so let's run it and size is five top is four then we pop two elements so four and three are popped so two is now at the top and it's not empty so i hope uh, it was clear you can uh, play with it